Alright, well. Damn, looks like your head got busted up. I mean, that word, I, if I'm using it correctly. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, cool. <laughs> find and find Nasley's home key. I know that. And characters, F1. Selen. Selen was my cousin and she was a nurse. She came here to help Nazali. She just wanted to have some fun and learn something new. Oh, <laughs> well then. Alright, so my guess is it's gotta be... I noticed with this game so far, you gotta be very, unfortunately. Okay, now we gotta find a fucking hammer. God damn it. See. Before it was, you were able to just, uh. Okay. Now, why can't we. Oh, fuck. We we're able to hit. Click on the vase before. Now we can't. We got the damn hammer. Now we can't fucking break it? What the hell? Now with this one. Why can't I click it now? Hello, you let me do it earlier. Why won't you let me do it now? Dying is something new. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking it is kind of bugged. Well, it did say they were. That this game did have bugs in it and whatnot. That they're trying to work out. Or it's gotta be like. Yeah, see, even like that's been like this repairing and repairing. It, that's an awesome matter all. I'm wondering if it is a, if it just bugged out. Because we were able to click on that face before, after finding the goddamn hammer. And now we can't. Like, what the actual fucking hell?
All right, let's see if it. Oh no, that's Discord. <laughs> Hello, Discord. What I want is Steam. There we go. You can go down. I just realized something. I forgot to do. Some, I gotta fix that mod screen there. Let me edit that. Timers. There we go. All right, so. Okay, so nothing is stating about this. No bugs on this vase. It's how it said about. Um, but I think I bugged out. <laughs> have the goddamn hammer how come we can't break you I want to break the fucking vase so f what I'm noticing about this game is that if you're not pointing in a specific spot I'm thinking at a certain distance and whatnot, it's not gonna give you the option. Really? Okay. So, ooh, red mist. What the hell is that? They did not tell you, but you actually have to click the left mouse button to break the fucking vases, because apparently, once you have the hammer, it is currently equipped. So now that we got that figured out,
Okay. There's a note on the wall with a pistol. My brother, I know I shouldn't have come here, but I need to protect you as you protect me. This village, this village. It's not a coincidence that everyone is here, especially yours. I don't have a lot of time. They're after me. There is a weapon here. You will need it. Find the Nazli and that thing. Do not think about me. Gherkin. Who the fuck is Gherkin? Gherkin! He has a special interest in relics. He got into trouble many times to get them. He is also a biologist and his studies on muta mutations in, on biology. I think the special interests come from our ancestors. Good to know. Well, hey, look at that. We got people. We got company. What is up? Um, what? For real? Okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, how you doing? What's up? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, um... Hmm. I don't even know how to put what I just saw into words. I'm going to assume this is the town hall. Nice. Hey, how you doing? Hope everything's good with you. How you been tonight? Alright. Oh, nice. I'll have to, uh, stop on over. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a new game called Somewhere. Uh, it just came out in January of this year. Is anybody there? <laughs> right? You shouldn't find us. We have to be quiet. I know what you're looking for. You're trapped here. There's a way out of here. You have to help me before I tell you. Then you can help her. Kill the zombies on the ground floor for us. And destroy the symbols. Then come again. Okay. Okay. 
want to give me some more goddamn bullets cuz uh Yeah, this is, like I said, it's supposed to be another horror game, um... I'm not finding it all that scary. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a zombie. Hey, I shot you in the fucking head first. Alright. I mean, granted, I this game is... I only bought this game for 99 cents, but... They need to put a lot of work into this. Are wicked huge. So I got a few more symbols, it looks like. Well, this door is glowing. Alright, have a good one. Thank you so much for coming in. I really do hope you have a good night's nice rest. And I'll see you again. Okay, so here's another one, which means you probably got. Oh, no. No zombie there. No, you're not gonna open up. And. Another. Okay, so the creepy voice is kind of cool. Kind of. <laughs> Got ourselves another note. More batteries. <sighs> what your father wants to give you is a relic. They learned. Only you can see him in this worn out world. Don't know why, but father said that now they're taking me home. I don't know what they're gonna do to me. I love you. Okay. So it sounds like you're gonna be getting going home to some fucking aliens and shit. Cause uh those did not look like fucking zombies. Those looked more like alien like creatures. Hey, all right, bullets. Yay. You can only have a max of 24 bullets? That's some bullshit. I will kill you. Okay. Oh, hey. What's up? What's up, big monster looking thing that's gonna look like he faints? Oh! 
I'm dead. I've been shot. So, um, just can't walk around that chair, huh? Just walk around that chair. Around that chair right there. You can walk around that. Look. Walking straight at me is not going to solve your issues. You need to just walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Alright. Oh. He's dead. Oh, hey. What the fuck just hit me? Now we're in the land of the fallen leaves. Uh... Hey, look, I, 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 I saw you. Yeah, I know you. Apparently my guy can't shoot through gates. Okay. Not too sure. So I just kind of read a couple of things. The developers of this game were trying to make a cheap horror game, and obviously, when I'm done with this game, I'll give it. Well, through this one chapter, I'll, everyone, will, I'll give my review on it. And of course, I'm gonna have to leave this review on Steam too. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too sure how... I can understand like, the creepy factor, you know, because a couple of that voice right that they had. That weird alien-like, child-like voice. That was kind of cool so far. And just like the dark, uh, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, that was cool. You know? But, um... Now it's locked from the other side. What the f well, what the fuck? Well, before when I went to that, it said it was locked from the other side. On the inside. So it was locked from both sides. Okay. Let's go back through this house, see if we can go through the front door. No, we cannot go through the goddamn front fucking door.
I really, really, really do want to finish this game up, but... It might bore me to fucking tears. So, if this is locked from the other side, wait a minute, why did that, yeah, okay. Can we use this one? Go with this gate. here. Nice little house. Complete with a fucking outhouse. What fucking year are we in here? That they don't have fucking indoor plumbing. But, alright. No longer let anyone die. Boy, oh boy, are you fucking emo. Two outhouse, so it's got a his and hers outhouse here. That's pretty stellar. I think we weren't supposed to go through there. Because now I think we're stuck. <laughs> Unless if there's something that we're missing. Which I really, 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 really don't believe so. So we're supposed to find the home key, but, uh... Honestly, I don't know if I want to. Something tells me we've got to go. Maybe we did go the right way. But, um... I'm not seeing any, well maybe we'll go, let's check out that window. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's there. I really don't think I was supposed to go through that way. I think we found like a poor this is a game flaw. Got some good bulletproof windows though. Can we go back through the gate? No. Um, yeah, so. What the fuck? some bullshit. So, we were able to jump through here from that bench, which I'm not too sure that's what we were supposed to do. But we did it anyways. But uh, I'm not seeing anything else here that we're supposed to be doing. Can't shoot the door, can't open up the door. Nothing to click on here. Beats the fuck out of me. Can't climb up that ladder. Can't go into the outhouse. And nothing in here. And our flashlight is out of batteries. Yeah, I really don't think we're supposed to be here. Because, uh... Unless if we're seriously missing something, which I highly doubt. Let's... I'm gonna restart it. Since and started from the beginning again, because we can like rush through this real quick. But I don't know. I think we might have may have missed something. But um, I, I don't even think we were supposed to go there. I have to talk with the Nosley. Her house is over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuzley's voice was squeaky on the phone. What's happening here? See, 
This wasn't even an option before. Over here was the crowbar. Okay, crowbar is open. We need to get that, which is going to be over here. And we gotta go back over here, look underneath the carpet, get the key, come back over here. The oil can. That's a fucked up truck. What happened to town? It wasn't like yesterday. How could this have happened? Okay, go to the church, which is that's the town hall. Church is over here. We're gonna need to save some energy. Got shit tons of batteries all over the fucking place. I'm thinking that's supposed to be rain. That base hasn't even formed yet. Oh, yeah, we still gotta read this note, too. I think we just bugged it out. We can't fucking break that one now. What the hell? <sighs> now we can't escape this fucking church.
Well, if the fucking this vase would appear. <laughs> What's up, KF? Not one bit. Um, yeah, so I think we totally bugged out the church here this time around again. And we can't break this vase. And this one didn't appear. So, <laughs> hate to do it again, but it looks like we're going to have to restart again. Jesus Christ. I just want to get through this game, but honestly, I'm thinking that this game is just going to, I'm just going to ha have to fucking stop playing it, because this is just some fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, chapter one. talk with the Nosley. Her house is over there. Dude, this game is... Squeaky on the phone. What's happening here? I mean, I understand it's an early access, but... Dude, if your game is an early access... And... Yeah, they even say it was some bugs, and granted... I mean, this game is only 99 cents, but... Come on. Yeah, it sounds like they did use the Microsoft Voice thing. Yeah, very monotone, just... And now I guess we can... Yeah, now we can open up that. Okay. Now we can open up this door. gonna stop what happened to town it wasn't like yesterday how could this have happened Is there blood on the floor? Okay, so. We gotta remember now. We gotta explore everything out first. So that. Spawned again. Oh, 
tower. There's a note on the wall and a pistol on the window. Got it. Alright, time for some cheesy ass fucking shooting now. Oh, fainted. You're dead. You cast. Oh, look, it's another one. Really? You can't, you can't, you can't get over that little step? Just that one little step right there. You can't get over that. Here, what if I move this way? Oh, how about over here? No? Do, do 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 You can't get over here. Ha 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 Oh, you're dead. Oh, God. I'm shooting. It's, and they're fucking ghosts and shit. And look, it's a graveyard. Much like for the dead of this game. Maybe this game is going to be buried in that graveyard. Oh look, you are stuck behind that tree? Oh no. Oh, dead. The AI in this game is fucking spectacular. So that creepy little kid's voice is, I like, I like that. Be quiet. Look under the door. Okay. You shouldn't find us. We have to be quiet. I know what you're looking for. You're trapped here. There's a way out of here. You have to help me before I tell you. Then you can, can help help her kill the zombies on the ground floor for us and destroy the symbols then come back in okay we'll do that we're going cheesy fucking zombie hunting now that looks like goddamn fucking aliens Zombie number one is in this room. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I'd be crying too about this game. Is 
sounds like they took some helium and put it through a voice synthesizer. I will kill you. Oh, like, fuck you will. Maybe this game will. I don't know, complete and utter boredom, but, you know. Okay, so we killed all the zombies and everything else. Now we can go back up here. And... Oh, hey! Dude! There's the key that we fucking missed. And once you go back a certain point, you cannot go back. What your flyer wants to give you is a relic. You'll learn. I'll need to see him in this worn out world. I don't know why, but father said that. Now they're taking me home. I don't know what they're going to do with me. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. We missed that fucking key before, and we cannot go back to retrieve it. Okay, we can just fall through something and just uh... uh I know but no, hold on let me reload here real quick since you for some reason cannot get through this fucking doorway oh dead oh the horror dude you're dead why the fuck did you hit me then you got your friend here who can't get Past this fucking chair. You should be ashamed of yourself, honestly. Here, let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> this game is so fucking stupid. I mean, I really cannot wait to do the write-up on this game. On Steam. Because, honestly, so this guy only put it out for 99 cents. And, honestly... <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be a buyer beware. And the funny part is, like... Alright, so, now that we have the key, I hope, <laughs> I hope we have the damn fucking key, maybe now we can go back that way. Okay, so now we're able to go through there. God, you're dead. Can we go into here now? All right, we're in progression. What? What the fuck is that door doing there? I mean. Why? Why do you have this door here? What point does this serve? Did that dude just fucking flash us? Like, um... the fuck? Sir, you have a tree grown out of your fucking wall. Um, yeah. <coughs> oh, 
no. Hey, look, it's more ammo. So do we have to go... Where the fuck do we gotta go now? My guess is we go through here, and then through this gate, because... Please don't continue this game. Please, for the love of fucking Christ, do not continue this game. Um. I am sorry for putting everyone through that game. <laughs> this game was a fucking horrible piece of shit. Oh my god. Played somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna so uh, I I I I need to write this review. Uh, a avid horror game player slash streamer. I do not feel that a Four year old would be scared. <laughs> Feel that even a four year four year old would be afraid. I had to restart this game three times in order for the chapter pro would work correctly. Graphics were good, but the cheesy monster <laughs> death scenes were not. They just looked <laughs> like they fainted <laughs> after being I would only assume to be shot. <laughs> the AI <laughs> needs to be worked on a bit. It cannot walk <laughs> around chairs, through doorways, or even onto a walkway. <laughs> oh my god. So, I will say this. If you are ex uh, say this, the only good thing was that some of the scenes were okay. Some of them. The soft Sam voice needs to go, and have a real voice actor. In ending, buyer beware. You get what you paid for. Do not go into this game thinking it will be very, it will be, it will be a 
well made game. So, I just put it somewhere. Chapter, chapter correctly. We're dying a bit. Walk around chairs, through doorways, or even onto a walkway. Child healing helium voice <laughs> was nice. Touch. Go. The monster and the church that ran past was a nice touch but the body dematerializing was not it was chintzy <laughs> Okay, so this game was only nine nine cents, and honestly, no, they really should if they want to. They really uh, no, just it to me. This one, this game right here, was just a reason for them to uh, um make a little bit of cash and not put much thought in it into it. That is my my feeling. <laughs> Cuz holy fucking hell that was absolutely terrible. Absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> so let's see here. What can we do in Um, so there's the adventures one that you're talking about. That's supposed to be the one. Gummy with a tier one resub. Going on eight fucking months, dude. Holy fuck, man. How you doing, Gummy? Thank you so much for that resub, man. I hope everything is going well with you. What's new and exciting? So, let's see here. Go into... Let's take a look into my wish list. Maybe there's something that we can pick up real quick. And try out. M54. All these games I really can't wait. This one right here, Scorn, I can't fucking wait. Only because Scorn, it looks like it's kind of, it has my my favorite uh, artist, which is H.R. Geiger, or Geiger. I don't know, I can't remember. I think it's Geiger, but some people pronounce it differently. He is my favorite fucking artist through and goddamn through. Let's see here. Um... Holy fucking hell. Some of these games I don't even know why I have on here. Looking for a nice... Ah, uh, see, I heard this one was fucking really good, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and put that in there. <sighs> da, 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 da.
Gummy with the one, two, three, four, five hundred biddies, man. Thank you so much for that. So what would you like me to do? Would you like me to do push-ups or sit-ups? That choice is yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my mouse is suddenly disconnected. There we go. Yes, I agree. Bam. So, Gummy, what would you like me to do? One, two, three, four, five. Would you like me to do push-ups or sit-ups? And the Woodland Road coming in with one, two, three, four push-ups as well. So, while we're... um. Waiting for that to uh, go through, so slender the arrival. Um, you if, okay? Well, obviously you will. So we'll put it into push-ups since we're right there. So let's do fourteen push-ups real quick. So today I was doing was going on about healthy life choices and like you know what I gotta start you know <laughs> exercising more because <laughs> I weighed myself today and, or today yeah and I weighed about like 225 pounds. Time to get my ass into gear. So we just finished up with somewhere and. Um, Yeah, don't get that game. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, like, what I need to do is I'm probably going to need to, like, just start, like, walking more. I need more calisthenics. Thank you so much for Lurk. <laughs> I like it so far. And flashing lights, which may not be suitable for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Open mind, make use of your personal relatable experiences and memories of desolation in the wild. You're on your own. Your survival is up to you. Okay. That looks good. Oh, dude, this game is also for it in VR, too. That's awesome. Hold on. I hate the fact that it, you can't see on yours, guy, where you guys are, but, like, for me, I can see it's not in full screen. It needs to be in full screen. <laughs> no problem, well, then. That window, thank you. There we go, awesome. All right. So 
So another thing, like I was saying, is what I'm probably gonna end up doing is give myself a uh, weigh in like once a week to start tracking my progression on weight loss and everything. So <laughs> I like that. While once a prominent hunting ground outside part okay, whatever the fuck that said. I love our affection. So it's down past not barking. When you find yourself alone, as to cast out that devil and something, how far will it carry you? Dude, that that right there looks like Gollum. Oh, well, why are we running? Oh, we fucking... What the fuck's going on here? Yeah, Gollum. <laughs> okay. Why are we running? Okay, so that's a sneak. This was a cool house out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that's a little creepy. There's also a flashlight now. Hmm. Probably sounds dumb, but it's good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren is doing really well too. But yeah, about what... It, about all we said. I'm not sure what to think of it yet. 
What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff. So I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know when he does see our... No, it's not. No, it's actually like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pointed star. <laughs> What's up, Caliber? How you doing, man? If anything, it's like a just go or something like that. Uh, we had one spooky, spooky game today that, uh, the only scary part was the fact that it had how horrible it was. <laughs> so now we just got Slender the Arrival and, uh, we're checking this out. Someone went on a shopping trip. Oh, that's cool that you can focus it. And Garbaggio. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's neat. Oh, dude, then if you want a really shitty ass fucking game for like Wicked Cheap, we just played it somewhere. And let me tell you, that game was absolute fucking trash. Like, oh, dude, that's fucking cool. Those remind me of Robotech. If you guys, actually, Robotech is actually, I just found out they did, or they're make. They just put out a remastered series on Netflix. Whoa. Alright, so it can't go to the tower. Can you see it? Escape. I don't know. Let's see if I can see it. So we gotta go to that tower over there. Yeah, they did. It's, um, I can't actually wait to see it because I kind of grew up on that a little bit. Uh, since we last spoke, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know Wrangler is a little old. You know what? Let's do this. Time to move that saw blade border again. I think it actually, I'm going to need to change that. Get rid of that border and go with something else. Find something like a pre-made uh, Twitch banners and stuff like that. Oh, hey now. Uh, 
Okay, so I can't remember uh, what was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. Shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. No. I don't know who you are, Sienna, but you don't come in here and ask. Our imaginations were also working on overdrive. I wish I could rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. Sorry, ignore all... How long has it been again? Since a couple years, hasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. Maybe she actually... I guess we'll never. So I ignore all of that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things haven't been less than normal for you lately, so I just want to check in. CR. Alright. Oh, yeah, there was another note, too. Where did that one go? It was in. Same room with that radio. Which was downstairs, I think. Alright, we already did that one. way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. Wish I had turned to you sooner. Yeah, no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Well, Kate, no offense, but your house is fucking trashed. If I'm going to try to sell this, you best keep it in... Keys. Kerosene. Lock the house. Okay, so I think we pretty much got everything that we needed. What you growing back here, huh? Tomato plants? <laughs> right? Alright, so I don't think there's anything else in this house that we can grab. We'll just take a look uh, around this. For a second there, I thought that said Massachusetts. Yes, that's kind of like how the Massachusetts. Um, 
things are. What the fuck is that key for that we grabbed? That's gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, phone's dead. Make sure that we're not missing anything else. Good battery life on it. How the fuck am I supposed to sell the house now? With all this. <laughs> that looks uh precariously placed. All right, so I guess uh out into the big wide world we go. And cuz we got to go towards the damn radio tower. Walk and we will go, a walk and we will go, hi ho there you a walk and we will go, what the fuck is this? Sun up. So far, we're just having a nice stroll through the woods. I'm really curious if what happens if we went the other way. Can we go the other way? Yeah, we can. We just cut. Hi, Mr. Slenderman, how are you? I got you on video, ha 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 ha. I'm really curious what happens if we actually just go this way. Or are we, can we go progress past this gate?
So I'm thinking we're gonna have to like stay in the light and shit. Don't crawl, go past the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you over there. Look. I see you in your specific suit and whatnot. Now you're gone. I got you on video again. Welcome on back. So I'm kind of failing to see on what exact ooh, e. What exactly is supposed to be going on here? I haven't finished Dying Light yet. We're just kind of, I was just kind of taking a quick little break from it, but I'll need to fit, pick that game back up again. We're just, I'm just checking out a couple other games here. Oh, dude, of course I've seen the mask. So we got disembodied crying going on in here, along with something like sinister and demonic. Okay, yo, thanks so much for that host, man. And wait a minute, how the fuck? We're gonna have to go back around. Go upstairs. That sucks. That's fucking cool as shit. You hear the crying up on there, but you can't see it. That's cool. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, follow. Oh, uh, this road really ain't going nowhere. So, it looks like this is supposed to be some sort of housing development, maybe? And this is supposed to be the basement. Ah, and whoever was building that other house, it got burnt down. Yeah, I see now. So, we need to head that way, though. And so far, this game is just a walking around kind of game it looks like Oak Side Park
Let's see here. People are leaving their fucking backpacks all over the goddamn place. Came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was like, he said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Okay. I won't let him in. Oh, slender. The arrival. Following the closure of the mines. Any friends left outside only recently has this god damn it couldn't fucking read it time Must be worn at all times. Do not cross the line floats into designated swimming areas. Reflective gear should be worn if canoeing at night. Do not interact with any and all marine life. That's awesome how you can like hear some of the noises. Voices. I like it. What the fuck's camping out here? Maybe it's Slenderman's. So we need to go that way. What happens if we walk towards you, huh? What you gonna do, buddy? I guess we die. <laughs> okay, so we can't walk towards Slenderman. Got it. Now where the fuck are we? Oh, okay.
So Slenderman doesn't like company, so... Hey, what do we got here? Wait a minute. This was not here before. What the fuck? Dude, the map keeps on changing. I like that. Unless we didn't go there. Okay, so that was there before. We really need to go that way. Oh, my curiosity. Let's go follow this path. What's the worst that's gonna happen? We run into a well-dressed man in the woods? I like the fucking ambient noises around you. That's fucking cool as shit. Oh, he's fucking coming. What's weird? Ambient? So someone told me that this game was scared the shit out of them. I am failing to see how this is scary. <laughs> to me this is like you're playing a game of tag of fucking some dude in the woods. And you're trying to find all the pages, apparently, and trying to escape. I like the fact that you, all you can see is just this, just the dot on your flashlight. Okay, we found four pages. Awesome. What the fuck is everything freaking out about? I mean, granted, he's chasing you away from where you need to go. fact that he hates the light so that's what I'm gathering
Can you calm your fucking nerves down? Thank you. Nowhere near ya. Just fucking calm the fuck down. And stay on the goddamn path. Oh, we're back here. Oh, fuck. Fuck away. Did we already go into this building? Park, I think we've got yeah, we think we went into here, maybe. Yeah, we did. Okay. That was fucking weird. What the fuck's going on here? What the hell happened? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was just trying to find all the goddamn notes. That's all I wanted. Mentioned to my doctor again when I saw him today. He really wants to come in sometimes just to talk with him. Good idea. He also said that I come from this dramatic event. In some way, it could be very beneficial too. Don't worry, I didn't tell him any specific about what happened. I do think we should go back out to that park behind your mom's house sometime soon. I think being out there and seeing nothing will help get rid of these stupid problems we've both been having. Well, guess what? The park is fucked. Did I find my way back to you? The, what? I tripped and fell down that slope, but my flashlight hit one of the rocks down there and broke. It was pitch black. I heard sounds all around me, screaming. It sounded like you. I tried to follow it back, but I, lo I was lost. I fell. Everything collapsed down around me. I could feel it crushing me. Everything was moving so fast. I was drowning in water. I couldn't see. Every fear I've ever had came back to me at once. Monsters surrounded me. My stomach inverted. My eyes shriveled out of existence, and my heart caved in. I don't know what happened after that. I woke up in some tall grass today and found my way back to the house. I looked through the window and saw you sitting on the couch, staring at your TV. I couldn't get your attention, so I left. Can't write anymore. I can't think straight. I need to. Need to what?
Save Charlie Matthewson. So we went there, we went there, we got to that building. I mean, I'm thinking like the next step is to go through that fucking tunnel, but you know, I want to make sure that we found everything first. Besides, it's a nice fucking forested area. Why not take a walk through it, you know? These guys are coming. Just honestly felt like some like was well, just stepping on like on my chair. That's cool. <laughs> it goes to my house fucking with me. Alright, we haven't checked out that building right there yet. I'm thinking the only place to left to go is through that nice dark, dark tunnel. Even though common sense says you never go in dark places. Unless if you're with a partner. as soon as possible to power the list please activate the emergency generators throughout the ground level of the complex six generators are the minimal required to power the lift at full capacity please see your supervisor if you need help locating them motherfucker why do I want to do that shit I'm okay Kate the woods are beautiful please come see I am going to find you so you can see it is so beautiful Kate okay When you usually get into places and they're like having arrows pointing you, that's generally a means of saying don't go that way. But I guess we're gonna have to.
So we had we just had Legion attack us. <laughs> Okay. I wasn't even close to him. But alright. I guess uh you have a certain amount of time to get away from him when it starts flickering like that. Where the fuck do those things go? And our friend is like leading on a wild goose chase here. Or like telling us no and you know, we kinda have to go through that way. Yeah, look, there's one. Excuse me. Stay away, motherfucker. That's what you get. And blind you. You're blinded, damn it. The fuck is casting that light? Feeling, feeling to see how Okay, 
so we got three generators now. That's seriously an annoyance. Yeah, right? But that seriously kind of reminds me of, of Legion from Dead by Daylight. Oh, motherfucker. How the fuck are we supposed to do? That sucks right there. We got fucking trapped and we couldn't fucking... Oh, come on. That's some bullshit. Maybe we gotta videotape him? I don't know. Fun. This is kind of starting to remind me of like the game Blair Witch where you just have to like walk around incessantly. Kind of rather like fucking just boring. No, 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 no. I don't give a fuck. Where are you running away? Get back here, you little fucking shit! No problem, man. So, we'll call that one the Creepy Kid. Creepy Kid can't hurt us. It only screams and throws a his fit at you. All right, now we need just two more.
One more to go. is the last goddamn fucking generator. That's where I want to <laughs> there you go. You need to quit. Okay, we need to restart this one. Okay. is too close to the woods it's too isolated you need to go somewhere else I know a place that I think will be safe for you to stay I'm going to go with you because my house doesn't feel safe anymore I nailed all the windows shut but I still feel too open I haven't slept in a few weeks either oh, god damn I haven't slept in a few weeks that's some bullshit
After a few, that your body would just fucking shut down. Oh, come on. You gotta go into more fucking mines and shit. Like, what the fuck? And someone was just recently here, so... for another game of hide and seek. I won't return from its errands to Red Deer until the morning. No one says I found a lecture so he can take us there after dark. We all meet by the chapel after tonight's dinner. I know you hate the rancid smell of petrol down there, but it'll be fun. I promise Maggie. P.S. Don't tell Patty. She'll tell on us. There were some stairs. <laughs> some sleep. Oh well, no, they wouldn't be dead, but like, your body would sh force you to sleep. It would shut down. Okay, it's a two-family house. No fucking stairs. Or a two-story house. No goddamn fucking stairs. What the actual fuck? Charlie is Slenderman? Ruin, how are you? And thank you so much for that follow. How are you doing today? Let's walk underneath the have the fucking object. <laughs> All wheat and barley should be stored in a subterranean cellar for cold storage. Wheat can be stored to nine months pending moisture. Our gang should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage, cooling the grain and shirts insects remain dormant, and then I was a Okay, great. I'm not going in there because it sounds like a fucking bear or something's in there. gas over in here. 
Maybe in the car. Check out the shed. There's gotta be something, gas or something to for that generator around here somewhere. Yeah, no. We're there's an animal living in there. We need to find ourselves some gas before we go in there. It smells like petrol. Kinda awesome. Gummy with another 500 biddies. Thank you so much for that. Once again, you have a choice for ups or sit ups.
There's gotta be a gas around here somewhere. an awesome jump scare right there. I did not expect that. Holy fuck. Yeah, what the fuck is right? Wait. Yeah, it kind of like snuck up on me. I'm like, what the fuck? I saw it just crouching there on the side, and it wasn't really noticeable. You know what I like? The fact that every single time you die or whatever, it changes. Like the area and everything changes around it. Procedurally generated. Oh, fuck. That's cool. curious on what happens if you go through like the grain farm to the grains or whatever
<laughs> yeah. Except for one problem. <laughs> you can't stay in the treehouse. Great, a cemetery. <laughs> you are like right over in there. My spidey senses are tingling. Goddamn flashlight. That sucks. So Alright, guess we're gonna have to dash to the field again to go play fucking hide and seek with this fucker. Saw you first. I see you there. Thank you so much for the refresh there, no pro. Well, fucking hell. Where are we gonna find a fucking key? Have a key? I see you there. Peekaboo. I see you. You really suck at this hide and go seek thing. You really you know that, right?
Yeah, let's check the cellar because I'm pretty sure the cellar has a gas, and I'm sure it's got the uh, keys too. Kenny Richard, Big Book of Stories, Volume 1. bigger than we thought. got to be in the in the grain area somewhere it just really has to be so I do not foresee any other way any other place I all right where are you little shit oh there you are be in, in here. I don't foresee it being anywhere but here. So Slenderman only, blah, blah, blah. How did we not? How did I not see that before? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was fucking truly bizarre. Oh, great. And it's starting to become dark time. D nighttime. Which means. <laughs> hide and seek in the field is gonna be a little bit more fun. This is a full moon too.
What could possibly go wrong? It's a full moon, nighttime, we're wandering around in the goddamn field. A cornfield, no less. Seriously. So we got family graves, it looks like. A weird stone circle. Yeah, that's coming out too. Alright, man, have a good one. Only salvation for myself and my family from that demon sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I did this. I went searching for this demon. I brought him into our lives. I invoked his arrival. How could I have been so blind as to manifest such evil? Why could I not let old legends die? I alone should bear this burden. Why must my grandchildren suffer from my imprudence? They will never come home. That arc fiend has them now. We all must bear this burden. We must all repent for our ignorance and rid this world of this demon for good. None ever shall confront this evil ever again. It dies with us. May the fire cleanse our souls and burn our sins. Yeah, so Slenderman's a demon. Nice. Maybe not take the children, the kids' toys <laughs> this time around. Oh, look at that. What is up? How you doing, sweetheart? Ooh, fucking hell. And folks, that's what happens when you take away a kid's toy. It freaks the fuck out. <laughs> they freak the hell out, big time. Oh. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Here's our Patricia still has yet to come home. Mother insists she ran off to research your wildfires again, but I know that's not true. It has that man, that thing Grandma keeps ranting on about. I do not think she's mad. I have seen the man myself. Watches us as we play. Patty went to him. I just know it. If only Mother would listen. I wondered when she'll come home. Rosette. But it's more or less the same as it's always been. Maybe tomorrow, Maggie. Father's making us pray again tonight. It'll do no good. It's bothersome, if anything. And I bet anything, Patty and Walt ran away from this miserable old place. I don't blame them one bit. Grandmother and Rose insist on some 
Batty tale that a strange man took them away. Am I the only one keeping their wits around here? Maybe I should run away too, Maggie. Well, Maggie, dearest Frida, through my heart still pains for your missing children. I fear for your health, my sweet sister. You mustn't worry your mind with those twisted tales of your, our youth. You know as well as I, they were merely ta tales to keep us all in good behavior. If only Mother knew what those silly legends would do to you, though I have no recollection of the one year you mentioned. Was it from one of the Mother's books you took with you? I wish I were with you now, in your time of need, rather than willing my days away alone. I wish you well, an ocean away. Mag, my thoughts and prayers reach you. Francesca. Francesca, maybe, it's supposed to be? Well, guess what? Fuck. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, our person here has seen a lot of shit happen so far. A lot. An oddly labeled tape. Oh boy, now what? So that's who Okay, oh, so we're going to find out what the fuck happened to this person. Look, I just want to close the fucking door. Fuck that game. <laughs> My point exactly on that one. What the fuck was that? What fucking place has all this shit opened up? Like, come on. You're gonna leave your house.
Fuck, which one was your room again? Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so this little girl dove out her fucking second story window. <laughs> to get the fuck away. Um, some tells me 